Hi everybody, I'm Matteo Ferrario. Let's try to understand what are the fundamental working principles of a mixer and then later relate them to our DAW. On a mixer like this one, the basic idea is that um, sound goes from top to bottom. At the beginning, at the top, uh, we have our inputs, uh, an XLR air, our cable and TS, TRS cable. Then if, pre if present there is uh, the input level. Sometimes uh, there might not be any since the sound is already supposed to be on an adequate uh, level. This one. At, th at this level there's an EQ with knobs to adjust amplitude of, of uh, treble, middle and low frequencies. And then we have one or more aux sands to send to the aux channel which uh, has it, its, its own output and follows uh, its own path. Um, this is the, the pan, the red one. Um, even if the input is mono, the output is going to be stereo. And panning allows us to choose the amount of sound we have on the left and on the right. It's important knowing that panning doesn't actually move sound from a side to the other one, but instead it just reduces one of the two and we can set the amount. Ultimately, uh, the volume fader. Usually we have a, a, a new, which stands for unity um, at some level and it's the level at which the signal is not amplified uh, nor lowered. Um, channel strip repeats over and over for every channel and the output of everything flows into the master bus. Uh, LED row informs us about the volume of the entire mix. The, these ones uh, never reach the red zone. You can touch the yellow one, but the red, uh, the red one is off limits. In the same way, when I'm in a DAW, we can choose the type of input and, uh, and input gain sometimes. So the type of input is this. Uh, we can do um, something similar to old sands. For example, setting a sand from a track, this one, to another one, this one. Um, in order to create two different mixes on the same source. Uh, we have the solo bottom and the mute bottom. And there it is, is the volume fader. Then this for every track. Um, the master track is this. Um, Leslie is comparable in every aspect to the master bus of a mixer.